Boda. Oh my God, look her. Boda. <laughs> we don't know who is the culprit. Boda. Once I remove the virus, I'm about to see a computer where you can run faster. You have been invaded by Boda. <laughs> Oh, hello there, dears. Thank you for stopping by Boda's Friday night premiere. My name is Elma, and I'm here with Boda to watch this live with you. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Aren't you, Boda? <laughs> yeah, I am, Elma. I love Fridays. Me too. Anyways, guys, tonight we have a couple of calls, some edited or condensed to reduce the boring parts. Oh yeah, you think it's boring for you? True enough. Sit back, relax. Pour a stiff drink. <laughs> yeah, that too. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. No, I'm a Latino. All right, no, you see, first of all, may I know whom I'm speaking with? What's your first name and the last name? Y- y- yes, this is Elma. Elma, a- E-L-M-A. Elma Fisher. I'm sorry, your voice is breaking up. Elma. E L M A. Elma, right? E L A M A, right? No, E L M A. N E. All right, Elma. And what is the last name, Elma? Uh, F- Fisher. F I S H E R. All right, Cesar, right? Fisher. Yeah, F I S H, right? F I S as in Sierra. Mm-hmm. So Foxtrot, Indigo, Sierra, Hotel, mm-hmm. Echo, mm-hmm. Romeo, Fisher. All right, so she are. So, Miss Elena, this is Federal Officer John Brown from the Social Security Administration Fisher. Department. How are you doing today? Fisher. F I S. Yeah, Fisher. E-R, Fisher. All right, Fisher. Yes. So, Mr. Fisher, this is Federal Officer Jason Brown from the Social Security Administration Department. How are you doing today? I, I'm, I'm, I've had better days, to be honest, but... That sounds great. So, before I give you any kind of information for the Elna, uh, can you please grab a piece it's of paper Elma. so that I can provide you some it's of my Elma. information? So that it's you Elma. Know who are talking with, right? Echo, Lima, Mike, Alpha. Oh, Elma. Elma, right? Yes, Echo, Lima, right, Mike, right. Alpha. Elma. Got it. So can you please grab a piece of paper handy, Alma, so that I can help you with the information? Middle, middle name is Luis. Ah, no problem, Miss Luis. L-O-U-I-S-E, Luis. Got it, got it, ma'am. No issue. Can you please grab a piece of paper handy so that I can Lima, provide you some Oscar, of my information? Lima, Oscar, Umbrella, Indigo, Sierra, Echo, Luis. Oh my god. Do you need no. I have a pen here. Yes. I got it. Uh, what is the date of birth, ma'am? April first, nineteen fifty nine. Fifth? I'm sorry I didn't get you. What a- did you say? April first. Number one, the first day of April. April first. Yes. April. Nineteen nineteen. Alpha. Peter. Romeo. Indigo. Lima, April 1st, number 1, All right. 1959. All right, got you. Got you. 1959. Got you. Got it. So, Alma, see, I just have pull out your file in my system, all right? And as I'm checking in your file, Alma, that the reason you have received a call from I'm our getting a check? Because... I'm sorry? You said I'm getting a check? Are you idiot, ma'am? Uh, did you say that I'm getting a check? You just said check. What, sorry? I, I, what's that? Sorry? I, I said, did you say, did you say check? Did you say... Thank you, ma'am. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You know, Boda, 
I was fired from a job as an accountant once because I fell for a scam. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. I was tricked into transferring a sizable amount of company money into a foreign bank account. Aw, oh, no way. Yeah. And if I wasn't dumb enough already, I then mistook my own bank account for the foreign account. Elma, that's a felony. That's what my attorney said, too. Oh, my. Here's another uh -huh. one. And what's your last name? Uh, the last name is uh, Titty Blocker, and it's T-I-T-T-Y-B-L-O-C-K-E-R. Let me just repeat that for you. So that's... Yes. T-I-T-T-Y, right? Yes. B-L-O-C-K-E-R? B as in Bravo. B-L-O-C-K-E-R. All right. And what's your zip code? Uh, 24701. All right. And you got that? Uh, yes, I got that. And lastly, please write down your case ID number. That's C-S in Charlie, B S in Victory, okay. number 5. Zero one seven. All right. So, actually, this call is to inform you that we just got an order from the federal authorities. Oh my goodness! No, I, I have no idea about this situation. What? What kind of a? What? What's happening? Uh huh. All right. So, are you trying to say that you did not receive any notification regarding about this? Are you? Are you any? accusing me that I did not? Not even a letter? Nothing. I have not received anything, sir. So I want you to be completely honest uh, with when, me when, when did you serve oh. me? I'm sorry? When did you serve me? Is there legal uh, actions against my name? No, no. That's correct. Yeah, okay. When did you serve me? I did not send you. No, I'm serve. That... Serve. At, at, like, process serving. You, you, need to, you need to serve somebody personally with uh, legal papers. I'm sure, I'm sure you know that. that. I'm sure you know that, right? That that it's somebody Michelle, needs to be served that. in person for, for any legal action to be taken against them. And there is no legal action until Look. that person actually is served. That there has to be actual proof that the person was served in order for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, uh, the case to go through. Look. I will be fixing an appointment for you tomorrow, okay? All so right. you don't have to worry about that. Okay. But right now, I'm trying to explain you what exactly happened here, okay? Okay. So, I want you to listen to me very carefully. What charges are, are I, you charging me with? I'm explaining you. Can you listen to me for one second? Okay. Well, usually you, you tell so, the charges first and then you explain them. All right, sure. Uh, so there are two criminal charges that have been placed against the net. That's correct. That's drug trafficking and money laundering. So actually the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south well, border Well, why is the Texas. Social Security Administration calling me? That would be uh, uh, the DEA and the FBI that would deal with that. That's sort of your jurisdiction, dear. Look, Miss Michelle, right now you have to reach uh, the investigation department of Social Security Office. Yeah, you're out of and your jurisdiction. This has nothing to do with you. I'm a verification officer. I'm here to explain you each and everything regarding about the case. And after that, I'm going to be connecting your line to my senior officer from the DEA, who is authorized person in regards with your case. Okay? So right does, now... What does the DEA um, stand for? I think that stands for entering asses, right? <laughs> I hate those motherfuckers. Oh, that's just between me and you, though. Don't don't say that to them. <laughs> that could get me in some trouble. Miss Michelle, are you trying to act smart? Because I don't think so. You're getting away with it. Well, that's I, I get away with everything, dear. But that that's besides the point. That's not uh, what's going on here. I think. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, what do you do for your living? Well, let me ask you. What do you do for your living? I serve for the girl. What do you? 
because uh, they're, they're, they're actually kind of the same thing, really, but we're just on the opposite sides of it. See, you do the scamming, and I do the scam baiting. Well, he hung up. I guess he didn't like my profession. Here's another call, though. As per your information, I have got your case file from my system. And uh, your case file says that we have some confidential and some sensitive information about your identity and about your social number. The well, you, have you, you would. Call. You're the Social Security Administration, are you not? Yes, I am. Well, you have all of my sensitive information, dear. <laughs> You're the government. What? You're the government. You have all of my sensitive information. Yes, but uh, as we have some mean? sensitive information about you, as we have some sensitive and the confidential information about your social number. Well, and yeah, you you you, uh, you gave me the social uh, number, dear. Let me complete first of all. Okay. Let me complete all right. All right. Sorry, I'm just a little right. confused as all. Well. Yeah. So the reason you have received a call from the Social Security Administration today, because. We have got some legal notice Snookums. from the law and enforcement agency to go ahead and suspend your social number and your identity as soon as possible. And reason because they have found your name and your social number has been involved in some kind of criminal and fraudulent illegal activities in the state of Texas. But why are you allowing we that? We have also got some evidence and some reports from the U.S. Marshal as well as from the County Sheriff's Office of Houston, Texas, stating that some of your personal details has been compromised or stolen by somebody else. No. So are you aware why, about Why would you allow that, sir? I'm a little uh, upset uh, right now. Why would you allow that to happen under my name? Are, are you not there to, to protect doing, me? We are not doing anything. Somebody has stolen your information. Well, why would you let them do that? Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? Uh, uh, yes, dear. Um, I'm... I'm I'm a little confused about what is going on here. Uh, apparently, something is is going on with uh, with my information somehow, and I'm I'm trying to get some more information about it. You see, what uh, is this? Something maybe I give you my name or, or something, and you can look me up. Uh, first of all, ma'am, can you verify me your first name and your last name? Holy shit! Yes, it's Elma. Elma Fisher. Okay, thank you so much for your information. I'm going to submit this information to our higher authority so that they guys will give you a call back from this number right now. So make sure to answer that call, man, so they guys can explain you each and every information. Okay. You're going to call me back? Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, all right. Uh, in your office. How, and how long? How long will in it your take? Officer, it will take five to ten minutes. Five and to ten minutes. And next round for that call, man. All right, dear. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your information. You have a good day. All right, dear. They're not calling back. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Uh, uh, please, can you help me, dear? This is uh, Elma Fisher uh, from Bluefield, West Virginia. Okay. Uh, I'm not. And you I'm, received any call? Yes, yes, I received a call. That's why I'm. That's why I'm calling you back there, Tallywhack ahead. Yes, of course, I received a call, and I, I don't know what's going on, dear. Can you, uh, can you help me with your name, Miss, so that I can go ahead and pull up your information and uh, let you know? Yes, yes. As I said, um, uh, you must have a Tallywhacker in your ear. Uh, I, my name is Elma. E L M A. Last name is Fisher, F-I-S-H-E-R. And please help me with your zip code. My, my zip code is, is 24701 in Bluefield, West Virginia. Give me a moment, Miss Fisher, so that I can go ahead and pull up your information. Oh, thank you, dear.
We are not able to take your call right now. <laughs> Goodbye. We kept striking out on that one. Yeah, we called them about a hundred times, though. I think we're running out of old stuff now. Hold on, hold on. I think we have some more, dear. Yolan has been connected to senior investigation officer from the DEA. My name That's all just hearsay to me. That's not even relevant. It's not evidence to me. It's not nothing. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, I can hear you. Connected? Okay, so Mrs. Lewis, uh, right now what you're saying is that the only ones to talk about the uh, drug trafficking case, not about uh, well, the Well, with, with and, you and, um, and, and or how that help affects help. me and how, can I, how I can help you in that regards. Okay. All right. So first of all, uh, let me tell you that this is a recorded line with the phone. Oh, my house. goodness. You already gave me that disclaimer once, and I told you then that I already had it. So? I don't want to hear Just Don't minute. stop repeating yourself. You're wasting government money. Okay. But we have found that uh, there are uh, drug trafficking case under your name. All right. So right now... The state court of Texas and the federal government has decided to suspend uh, your social security What does number. that have to do with a drug charge? And, 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 that wouldn't be... And, no, 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 and, no, 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 that's not how it works. Mike, that's not how it works, dear. You, can, you cannot just, suspend my social you, over a drug just, trafficking uh, charge uh, that I haven't even moment. been convicted of. Give me a moment. I'm just talking about... The case. No, 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 no. I'm just talking no. about your Now, case. if the FBI uh, called me order, and said in conjunction with the Social Security the Ad Administration, we are suspending your, your, your social due to the, the money laundering, that would make sense. But you fellas <coughs> cannot even partner with mm -hmm. nobody to, to suspend my social. Don't talk nonsense mm -hmm. to me. First of all, let me tell you that the federal government has decided to suspend your social security number. If you want to talk about this case, you can talk with the FBI. You Are state. you a joint, uh, uh, is this, is this a joint uh, task force? Right, right now, right now, it's about your drug trafficking case, okay? Yes, so yes. I'm only well, going to talk about here, the drug Here's the evidence case. you need. No. It wasn't me. Okay, that is not how you're going to talk with the officer, all right? What? I can say it wasn't me. What are you talking about? I can say it wasn't me. So, you can say it wasn't you, but that is, you, you have to lower your tone, all right? That is how, not how you talk with the officer, and I don't appreciate the way you talk with me. Well, I don't appreciate like being uh, accused right? of things uh, that are... That is see, just simply all, not true. From the evidence... We are we are blaming you because we found your you evidence. have circumstantial evidence. evidence. You know what the the you. difference is, All do right? you not? So you have to understand. You have to cooperate with me. Well, I am cooperating. You, I'm cooperating probably more than most I'm people saying. would. So we have found we have found a drugs a, a twenty two points of cocaine right in the address where we found. Uh, this suspicious uh, yes, uh, in the vehicle Mike, 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 using your social Mike, number and Mike, name. Mike, so, you think, you, Mike, you think 60-year-old Thelma and Louise is going to uh, have know, money for 22 pounds of cocaine? Works. That's it. That's ridiculous. Thing, that's right? the most ridiculous thing I've ever that heard. That is not how it works. I have $3,000 in my bank account. That's ridiculous. Okay. How could I afford 22 pounds of cocaine? Do you know how much that costs? <laughs> Just hold on for a moment. Let me tell you that it does not matter. A crime is a crime, all right? And yes, we well, where's the beneficiary of that crime? It certainly is right? not me. No. Follow the money there, Michael. Follow the Listen money. Listen to me, Mr. Slurries. There are two options right here. There are two options for you. First is that you can hire a No, there's, there's many options. Against the government inside the courthouse, with full of evidence, which can prove. I could just go to your you. office and go Oklahoma now, on you. Option, give me a moment. The second option is that, well, you can resolve your case and and drop all your charges by outside the courthouse resolve man option. So, whether can you tell me whether you want to resolve your case inside the courthouse by hiring a lawyer? 
in fighting this case against the government. Well, or, I, oh my goodness, I, I already told, I already told uh, Poo Poo Paul there that I was going to cooperate. Yes. Okay, well then, if you want to rectify a case outside the courthouse, what you have to do is that we have already found the cocaine, 22 pounds of cocaine, where we have found uh, a suspicious address, uh, which uh, was rent, which was rented the car uh, in the south border of Texas, where your social security has been used to rent the car. So right now, well, people don't use social securities to rent a car. What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. What was that? Pe people don't use social securities to rent a, rent a car. That's illegal. They're not allowed to do that. What are you talking about? A car company, it's totally 100% illegal to ask for a social security number. That is illegal. You cannot do that. How is, how is somebody's Mr. social... Did I ask you for your social security? I am, I am saying a car yeah. company to well, rent a car, to rent a vehicle, is not allowed to ask somebody for a social security number. That is illegal. Okay. They would Did be I shut down in the security? same day that they ask Mr. somebody Sweet, for it. What are you talking about? I am telling you, you that there's nobody, nobody in this nation has ever been asked for or given a social security number to rent a vehicle. The only thing they give is a credit card and their name. And that, and that is linked with your social security number. But it's not linked yeah, to the, the rental of the vehicle. The to, no, because any any credit card account can be t taken out in my number. name without my social security can number. Listen, first of all, listen to me, what I'm saying. Once I'm done with That's my why part, it's I'll circumstantial evidence, because there's no proof reporting. that I did anything. Do you not know the law? It's, so, it's, it's, it's have, amazing uh, that you work at the DEA and you do not know a stitch of law. Mm -hmm. You know nothing about the law whatsoever. I cannot believe it. How incompetent are you? Okay, Mr. Lewis, can you tell me that? Do you want to rectify a case inside the courthouse? Of course. Want I want to a, rectify it right now. Or you want to rectify this case outside the courthouse? I want to rectify it now. The outside, outside the courthouse is on I'm going to wreck, wreck your rectum in a minute if you don't rectify this situation. Okay, and can you tell me what doubt do you have, uh, what questions that you want to ask? How oh, well, I've, I've asked a lot, you but you're so incompetent you can't right. answer any, any of them. You're not cooperating, so. just give me a moment. You're not cooperating, let me think. You're saying that how... Can you rent a car with your social security number? You, can't. you need only you can't. a credit card or a debit card. Yes, I understand that. That's, I'm, I'm trying to follow you, all right? Yeah. So you rented a car. You can't rent a car with your social security number. You need a debit card or a credit card for that, right? Yes, well, you would uh, typically need you, a credit card. That's what you say. That's what you said, right? You would, I so said credit card. Are two bank accounts. Let me tell you that. You need two bank accounts and 11 credit cards are also been registered. And open using your social security number. Yeah. And well, they don't and open those accounts with account with social security rented. numbers either. That is all. Uh, that is all you got to do with your They would use other number. information as well to so be to open a credit card or an account. You need other information, so you'd be able to figure out what? if it was me or if it was not. There would be signatures, there would be a picture ID, and there'd be other forms of ID as well that would be submitted when the accounts were opened. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's a, a hotmail account or something that somebody anybody can just go open them up. That's ridiculous. You can't just punch in a, a number, you somebody's just, social security you number. Just come down to Texas. You can just come down to Texas and try to rent a car, and I'll show you how the car is being rented over here in Texas. You oh, need oh, really? only a credit card or a debit card, and you need your name. And yes, address, yes, and you can open up that credit so card address, without without with that card. The, the credit card. They have used where the where is the proof that that was the, done the by me? That is a proof because no, that no, it's card not the proof. That's is, not proof. That's called circumstantial evidence because somebody. there are so, circumstances that it would not no, mean that it's me. Listen, 
I, I bet your intention. You just need to hire a lawyer. I already have a lawyer. I worked for a lawyer for 25 years. I was a se the secretary for a lawyer for 25 years. That don't. Why don't? Why do you think that I know so much about law? We have to send the officer to back you on the custody. You're not going to send anybody because you haven't sent me any kind of notification in the mail. You haven't served me in person, so there is no charges on me. You tatty macky chute. And all the bank account that you have that, hey. that is linked with Mike. your social security Mike. number that Mike. will be Mike. 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 because you don't Mike. have a social security Mike. number. Mike. Okay, Mike, 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 so okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, dear, all right, right dear. Dear, okay, all right, okay, I'm okay. sorry. I apologize, dear. Okay, I'll see you in the court. Hey, no, Bye. hey, you're a bench -out. And another hang up. Yeah, I was trying to save it, but he he would not listen. Well, that call was about an hour long. So do you have any more, Boda? Please, tell me you do. I think I do, yes. Uh, maybe one more. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Uh, yes, yes, I, I have my, my case number here. I, I was speaking with somebody and I got disconnected. Uh, what's your case number? It's uh, 2020. Dash three six two Victor November one. And what's your name? My name is Anita Thompson. What's your name? Anita Thompson. Anita Thompson, am I right? Yes. Yeah. And how long do you talk with someone? I, I spoke with him uh, for, for uh, some time, and he gave me all of this information. He gave me uh, a bunch of different information, and then, and then we got disconnected. I'm not sure what, uh, wh why, what happened. Uh, I was informing the inv individual that I, I just got out. Uh, I just got out of jail, and I can't afford to have any uh, arrest warrants on my name. That's. I will go to jail. Oh, right, this prison. Right, this present of the term, like, uh, the reason that fire department tried to reach you is because, like, uh, we have found some criminal and the suspicious activities going on under your personalized information right now, I believe. And uh, we also found, like, a more than 20 bank accounts which was under your name. Oh, is that no. correct? Yes. That's, yes, he was, he was saying that. And I told him, I, I said, I was already charged with money laundering. I can't have that sort of stuff on my name. It's not going to look good for me. They, they're going to think that I am the, the person that's doing this. I'm, I'm literally four months out of jail. I can't do this. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to be going back for the rest of my sentence. And do you have a bank account under your name? Oh yes, I, I got a bank account as soon as I got out of, of, of prison. How many bank accounts do you have under your name? Well, just the one. Just the one with Chase Bank. And you have a checking account or you have a savings or you have both? I just have, I just have a, uh, just a, a checking account. Checking? Yeah. Okay. And what the exact balance you have in your checking right now, Ms. Thompson? Uh, it's probably uh, right around uh, $1,100 or so. And do you have any credit card? Uh, no, no. Uh, okay. Do you have any 401k IRA account? No, no, goodness, no. Okay, so Ms. Thompson, make sure about the one thing that, uh, like, uh, you're going to receive a call from the officer to whom you speak before, okay, because he could be a case officer, and he is uh, in front of the courthouse right now, he is representing the recording and all that things, so once he gets the free from there, then after I'm going to be uh, say to him that he's going to call you back, okay? You're going to tell him to call me back? Yes. That doesn't seem very professional. That he hang up on me and then you're going to get the same guy to call me back? That's not very professional of you. I'm not sure what's going because on over right there. Now, because right now, Ms. Thompson, he's just representing all the recordings and each and everything to the courthouse. And he's just preparing the documentation. Uh, who, the who was that? Who was that individual? What was his name? The officer's name? Yes, yes. It's uh, David. David, what, last name? Sorry? Collin. His last name? David Collin. That, that's your name or the, the, 
That's not the individual that I was speaking with. Sorry? That's not the individual that I was speaking with. What's that? Speak to Kit Boga. <laughs> you think it's Kit Boga, do you? <laughs> yeah, I need to speak to Kit Boga. I uh, know, this is, this is just Boda. No, Boga, Kit Boga. Not Kick, Kit Boga. It's Boda. B-O-D-A. Yeah, Kit Boga. Is this Kit Boga? No, oh my goodness. You, you, you're deaf, are you? No, I, I'm a hundred percent shy. Yeah, if I was Boga. Kit Boga, I would have used the name... What is it? Uh, uh, what's the name he uses? I don't even know. I'm not Kit Boga, goodness. No, no, you are Kit Boga. Oh, okay. Then you just think that I'm Kit Boga and you have a good day. Who is this? This is Officer Alex from Social Security Administration. Who's this? Oh, Alex, you little cocksucker. What are you doing calling me? I'm not a cocksucker. Uh, you probably are, actually. Yes, why are you giving me a call? I want your pussy back on. Uh, you probably do, yes, and it's old and wrinkly. Do you want it now? So will you provide me? Will you give me? I'll give you every wrinkly piece of my pussy, yes, if you want it. <laughs> no, no. Are you sure? Uh are you sure? Oh, it, it smells like pee, because I have a hard time wiping nowadays. Okay, so what do you want me to do that? I want you to tell me what the fuck is going on with my goddamn social number, you fucking bastard. You know you work for me, you work for the fucking government, you work for me. So you better do your fucking job, you hear me? Because I'll find you in El Paso or wherever the fuck you are, and I'll come to your fucking house, you little bastard. So tell me what the fuck is okay. going on. Okay, I will let you know what the fuck is going on. I will fuck you in the heaven, and till the heaven it will go in your coffin. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? That doesn't even make any goddamn sense, you little fuck. Uh, what did you say your name was, Hello? Nadia? Hello? My name is Shaker. My name is Shaker. Shaker? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Shaker, like a salt and pepper shaker? Shaker, it's S-A-K-E-R. Well, that's a weird name. I do apologize. But, uh, so you said you're uh, Paul. Uh, from, Paul. From Paul? Is Paul actually your name, or do you just giving that to me for for my sake? Because I can call you Shaker. Oh, my real name is Paul. Not real, not then why did you ask? It's why not did you ask? Juice. <laughs> okay, how it, can I help you today? <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, I'm really already confused with what uh, what is going on. Uh, let me tell you what uh, what is going on. Uh, my niece, uh, she went away for uh, for the Thanksgiving weekend. She got into a little bit of a little bit of a pickle, um, and she needs some money. So I'm trying to send her some money. Um, and and she said she could do it through Cash App, and that's what you support, is it? Okay. Well, I'm having so much problems with this, dear. You can send the money to your niece with Cash App. It's a very easy application. Have you already installed it, or you need to install it right now? Oh, I'm, I'm on the Googles, and um, I'm looking for it. Uh, but I, I just cannot, cannot seem to find it. All I, all I can find is you, you guys. Let me, so, let me help you. Let me, let me do one thing. Let me help you with it. All right. So what you need to do? Uh, first of all, she's in real, real tight pinch right now. So, so she got picked up for for, for solicitation. So uh, she needs to get bailed out. She needs the money. So I understand. I understand. Bas I understand. Basically, she needs the money. All right. So I I can only help yes. her yes. to send you the money. Okay. She needs it. Now, may I know in which phone you are using? Wait and check. Is it the quickest way to send money? Is there another way that would possibly be quicker or better? Yeah, this is the only quickest way. If you want me, you need to follow my instructions and you need to listen to me, miss. Yes, yes, okay. okay. So, which phone, in which phone you are using Cash App? Which phone? I'm trying to find it on, on my computer, dear. I don't, I don't have a, a mobile no, phone. you cannot do it. Uh, you cannot do it on computer. You can only do it on phone. It, this app doesn't work on computer. Oh. Cash app doesn't it's work on computer. It doesn't work on a computer? What What kind of nonsense is that? What the, uh, oh, goodness. No. So do you have a phone? Option. 
Men, just don't say such things. If you need help, well, I mean, please listen to me okay, okay, and work on something oh, from your side. Not, I think that's just silly. So there, there's no option for me. So basically, my uh, my 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 niece is, is out of luck. Is that what you're no, telling me? Out of luck. He must be. May I know? You are not giving me the answers which I am asking you. You are just saying, you know, other things which are not of use. Well, if you know, well that's kind of rude. I'm just saying, I'm into it. Yeah, it's... Because, miss, I'm not here. Well, I'm just, I'm just informing you of my... And uh, properly assess it and... and, and I know that. I know what I... I know my job. I know my job, what well, I have to do. Just, you are not, I asked you a same question ten times. You didn't answer that? me that. You're just saying other things. Okay, well, what was the you question then, dear? Oh my goodness, I did answer that. Oh, okay. Have you eaten pig chips when you were a child? I, I already answered that, dear. I told you, I don't, do not have a mobile phone. I'm trying to do this on, on my, on my no. computer. Yes or no? Yes, or I, no. Oh, my That's goodness. What I'm I did. I already oh, answered. How many times do I have to say it there? Listen, Gandhu, I, I, I can't you say it more phone. clearly. I do not have a, a cell phone. Those things so give you why cancer. Why are you not giving answers? Okay. So I, which phone is what it? Is an, what is, is, it what is the word phone? no with me? You are, good, you are keep talking. You are keep talking. You are not even... I already told you, dear. It's like five times now. How, may, how much more clearer do you want me to do you? I am saying. Now don't say a word. Don't say a word. Okay. Just answer me yes okay. and no. Do you have it or no? Okay? Just answer me yes and no. Don't elaborate it. Don't elaborate your I told you before I began on the call. I went into great detail of what, the, what what my situation was. I told you already this answer. I understand your situation. Well, then why don't you, why can't we get past it? And why can't we uh, figure this out and, 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 and get my niece some, some money? Is that so hard? You said you know your job, do you not? Do you know your job? Just let me know when you will be done talking. Okay, I'm done. All right. Now, do you know your job? You know how to do it? I'm not. Oh, my God. Which Can we continue? Is it, is it a iPhone oh or goodness. is it an Android? I have to go, I have to go over didn't this hear uh, entirely. That's why I'm asking you again. I guess I have to entirely go over the entire situation over again. Goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Uh, this time, can you, can you please listen to, to the words that are coming out of my mouth, please, this time? No. Can you, no, can you do that for me? You. No, I will not. No, you no. Cannot listen. I will not listen to you. What? No. Why not? No, 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 no. I told you. No. I told you umpteen times no, now I that I do not, not have a mobile phone. I even told you the reason why I do not have a mobile phone. It's because they give you cancer. So that's why why you cannot say just I don't have it. Why you just keep the whole thing thing? I did I say that. I don't have it. My niece is my niece stuck there. Don't take that. My niece lost take her. I did. I did. No. Take her. I told you. I told you many times. Every time you asked me, I told you again, and you didn't listen. I don't know what your problem is. Yes. I don't know what kind of thing. Let me, let me complete this conversation. Let me complete this conversation. There is no benefit of fighting here. I just said. If you don't have a phone, you cannot use Cash App. Period. Well, then how am I have a phone to send money? You cannot. You, you cannot. I don't know. Go I, to your I, bank. So, so, how about you call her and tell her that she is she has to sit in jail because you cannot do your job. How about you tell her that? You call the Miami Dade Police and you tell them that. Okay. Give me a. Give me give me her number. Give me her number. Give me your niece number. Give me her number. You really gonna you're going to call her in jail. She doesn't have a phone. You'd have to call the Miami Dade police. Well there it is, guys. Thank you for stopping by and until the next one, Boda out. Boda.
Your computer will run faster. 